Hi, welcome back to the Spring Boot JPA tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about the query method for between keyword. So let's begin. So we have already discussed about the query methods, how to create the query methods and what are the naming conventions that we have to follow while creating the query methods. In case if you missed that video, I'll drop a link in the description section of this video. Make sure to check out that video. Let's moving on. In this video, let's discuss about the between keyword for creating the query methods. Okay, consider an employee entity which has two fields, the name and salary. Okay, so we have the entity class that contains the name and salary and also we have a setters and getters. Okay, so we need to query to the database to retrieve the list of employees in which the employee salary between uh, 20,000 to 50,000 or any some criteria, let's say uh, the salary between some 1 lakh to 2 lakh. Okay, so in such scenarios, instead of writing the SQL queries, we can uh, achieve that using the finder methods or with the help of query methods. Okay, and here is the query method for that find by salary which is the field name and we will use the between keyword followed by the field name and this is going to take two parameters uh, okay so the big decimal start and the big decimal end the big decimal which is the data type and the start and end the reference variable names okay so we have to pass the two uh, variables uh, like the parameters the limits okay the start and the end so between that it is going to find the records okay so behind the scenes the jpa will create and execute the following query okay so uh, behind the scenes the jpa will create the sql query such as start sorry it's a select star from employee where salary between the number the 20000 and 50000 okay so this is the query that is going to execute behind the scenes and based upon this it is going to retrieve the list of employees okay all right, so now let's jump into the STS IDE and let's create the Spring Boot application and let's uh, write this finder methods, okay? All right, I'm inside the Eclipse IDE. Uh, actually, I'm using STS IDE. In case if you are using the STS IDE, that's completely fine. The IDE doesn't matter here, okay? So I have already created the project find by between. So if I expand this and uh, inside this, I have created a few packages, the controller, entity, and repository. So if I open the uh, entity class okay we have the id name brand description price and created at okay so let's uh, write the finder methods or the query methods for price and created at okay so let's do that so in inside inside the repository okay so the laptop repository let's write the finder methods okay this is going to return the list of laptop because we are working with the laptop entity find by uh, we have to target the price so if i open the entity class the field name which is price and we have to use the field name price between between and this is going to receive two parameters which is of decimal type big decimal start big decimal end okay so let me import the big decimal from the util package and also the list okay and list laptop this time we are going to target the created that okay we are going to target the uh, when the uh, record has been created okay so for that we are going to make use of the sql uh, date class find by created at between date start and date end so let me import the date from the sql package all right so now we have created the two finder methods all we need to do is we have to write the finder methods or the rest endpoints so first of all i'm going to auto wire the laptop repository so laptop repository so l repo let me auto wire this okay so let's quickly write the finder methods not the finder methods let's quickly create the handler methods or the rest endpoints so public this is going to return the response entity list of laptop find by or instead of get laptops by 
price. Let me uh, annotate this with a get mapping annotation. Get mapping, and this will be laptops slash price. And this is going to take uh, two parameters at request param big decimal start request param big decimal end so let me import the big decimal from the math and util as well okay so big decimal which is from the math package and list from the util package all right inside this we are going to return the new response entity new response entity and we are going to make use of the repository the laptop repository l repo dot find by price between and we are going to pass the start and end and we are going to send the http status to ok all right so now let me import the response entity this is response entity let me copy this and paste it now this time we are going to target the date okay so slash laptops slash date and get laptops by date we are going to pass the do two dates and between that we are going to fetch the records and big decimal instead of big decimal we are going to make use of the sql date let me import from the sql package and start and end this is actually find by created at between start and end okay so now we have created the two rest endpoints slash laptops slash price and slash laptops slash date okay so let me open the mysql database and uh, let me execute this query okay so right now we have six records and it has some price and it has some created at date okay so now let's what we can do is let's go to the postman before that i'm going to start the application so let's start the application All right, the application is started and running on the port 8080 and uh, let me open my postman and localhost colon 8080 slash laptops laptops slash price and we are going to pass the start and end okay start and end okay so the start what i'll pass is let me open my SQL database and let's say we have 160,000 Apple product and I'm going to target from 1 lakh to 2 lakh okay so that we should get only the one record okay let me go to the postman and start which is 1 lakh okay this is 1 lakh and between 2 lakh okay 3 and 2 all right now when I click on this send button we should get a single record okay you can see the MacBook Pro okay all right, so now let's actually try for 1 lakh to 50,000. 50,000. Okay, so when I click on this send, we do get a few records, which is Dell Inspiron, which is 60,000, and Dell XPS 70,000, and uh, MacBook Air, which is 85,000, and Lenovo 50,000. Okay and hp 50000 okay so these are the records which are available between this range okay this is about getting the list of records for the price now let's look at for the date okay so let me change this to laptops slash date 
start okay the start I'll specify some date uh, let me look into the database go to the mysql database and created that we have some records at the 2020 and we have some records at 2021 okay let's target for from 2020 starting to 2020 ending so that we should get uh, two records okay let's go to the start and i'm going to specify 2020 minus 01 minus 01 and till the end of the december end of the 2020 so 2020 okay minus you should follow this uh, format because this is the format that the sql accepts minus minus 2020 minus the month which is 12 minus 31st okay when i click on this send we do get a two records which is dell xps and lenovo which is in uh, 21 uh, which is in the uh, november and purchased in the november created in the november and the xps which is created in the december 31st okay That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.